Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, my name is Hannah. And in today's video, it is part two of my holiday decorate with me. So if this is something you are interested in watching, please just keep on watching. And if you are not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so this is part two of my holiday decorate with me. If you have not caught part one of this series, I will link it here in the cards for you. Part one kind of touches on some of the different surfaces like the sideboard behind me, my entryway and console table area. Within this video, it is going to be my Christmas tree mantle, a little bit of those finishing touches of my living room space, my staircase, as well as some other little aspects throughout my home. So hopefully you guys enjoy, hopefully you're getting some inspiration. If you are just clicking on this video, my style is a little bit untraditional. This, this video does not scream Christmas, but I'm gonna tell you guys, this year is my favorite decor I've ever done for the holiday season and I, I just absolutely love it. I walk into my home and I feel so engulfed in the spirit of Christmas and the holiday and I love everything, how it turned out. It really did come full circle for me. I did my best to make it feel like the Christmas bit in my own way and hopefully that comes through in my video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it again, get some inspiration. But without further ado you guys, let's get into this video. We are starting with my Christmas tree in my living room. This is the first year that I've ever done a faux tree. My entire life, we always went to the Christmas tree lot and picked out a Christmas tree. But after spending so much money on a real tree last year, Con and I decided it was time to make the faux jump. This tree is from Balsam Hill. I will link all the information down below. It is definitely an investment, but I purchased mine the day after Christmas, so it was definitely discounted. Still an investment, but worth every single penny. This tree was surprisingly already fluffed. I really did not have to do very much to it. This is straight out of the box, and I am so pleased with everything about this tree. Next, I'm getting all of my ornaments and I'm just gonna organize them by size and by style. This way I know where to pull from and that way I can do each color individually. When I start to decorate my Christmas tree, I start with the larger ornaments first. These ones are five inch in diameter and they're from not only Hobby Lobby, but they're also from Amazon as well. I think by using these larger ornaments, you can stuff them in those kind of areas that have gaps within your faux tree. This is going to not only fill those gaps, but it's also gonna create some depth to your Christmas tree, which I think is super important. From here, I'm just trickling in some of the other specialty ornaments I have, those pops of burgundy, the pops of terracotta, just giving some visual interest to the overall look and feel of my Christmas tree. The next aspect of my Christmas tree is my bead garland. This is from World Market and I got a total of three bundles. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is the first year that I've owned a faux Christmas tree so I wasn't quite sure how much garland I would need in order to cover the square footage of this tree. So I possibly will go back for a fourth but I'm, right now I'm just weaving this in and out of the different pine stems going in a slight upward diagonal. I think when you go and kind of go up at a diagonal, it is helping with the overall movement of the tree. Now the last little element of my Christmas tree is we are creating some velvet bows. This spool is from Amazon and I love the width of this. Keep in mind this is going to be the predominant color that I'm popping into my tree. So I'm just creating some bows here and then once they are formed I'm actually taking some floral wiring and I'm just going to feed it through the back of the bow. That way it can easily attach to any stem and still have the bow facing forward and that way it looks perfect once it's assembled on your Christmas tree. Another really fun detail about my Christmas tree is I used a cowhide as a way to ground my space. Now the base of this Christmas tree was a lot larger than the tree collar that I had from previous years. So I got creative, I used the cowhide to ground my tree and then I ended up using a faux blanket to wrap around the base so you would not see the stand that the tree was on. Now 
next step is removing the olive tree that lives within this corner. Of course I had to have the help from my husband as this thing is extremely heavy. I'm replacing the tree with my floor lamp that I got from the Studio McGee collection during the summertime, as well as my Living Spaces velvet swivel chair. The same accent table that is from Restoration Hardware teen section going right next to it. On top of that chair, I'm placing my new Teddy material pillow from Pottery Barn. And then this accent table, I'm adding a stack of coffee table books, a really cute spice container that I got from my sister's shop, as well as just a few sprigs of faux greenery and some cinnamon sticks. Here I'm just doing some mixed match candlestick holders. One is from my sister's shop and the other is from Amazon. And then I'm adding some twisted candlesticks that I also got from my sister's shop in a really beautiful taupe color. The first layer to my Christmas mantle is this beautiful garland that I got from a local boutique here in San Diego called Thrive. I love this garland because all of the ornaments are different shapes and they have this mercury glass textural exterior. I did this swagging a little bit different to have some visual interest. And then from here, I'm using those command strip core bundlers to attach my garland. When it came to styling my mantle, I used a total of two different types of greenery for the actual garland itself, and I used four in total. I really wanted my mantle to have a lot of volume, so I think having a lot on your mantle just makes the impact that much bigger. And from here, I'm actually intertwining the two different styles. That way there is some connection between the two instead of just plopping two different types of greens on top of each other. So if you do this, make sure that you kind of intertwine one another so that way they all mesh. And from here, I'm just adding four different sprigs of juniper stems. I absolutely love these because they bring in the textural through those little kind of blueberries. It's muted, but it's just enough texture to add to this garland and final mantle look. The next aspect of our mantle is of course our Christmas stockings. Starting with the holders, these are some inexpensive holders that I got on sale from Hobby Lobby. The first stocking is from a company called Brook and Lou in this really beautiful camel faux fur. The second is the Pottery Barn Cable Knit. The third is this really fun light tan Sherpa from Amazon. And the last one is actually from the Restoration Hardware Baby section that I got for Sway last year that ended up working totally fine with the stockings that I got this year. Next aspect of my home is we are decorating my staircase. I definitely went with a more simple approach to my staircase and I just did some really simple swagging of my garland and I added some velvet bows. Now as much as I love the Norfolk, which is extremely popular right now, I wanted to do something different, not something that everybody else was doing. I can appreciate the Norfolk, but I just feel like everybody's doing it, so I decided to go with a beautiful cedar instead. Again, I just attached some beautiful burgundy ribbons, bringing in that velvet aspect, and then I also just topped it with this three trio bell set that I purchased from my sister's shop here at the end of my staircase.
you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this part two of my holiday Christmas decorate with me. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. There will be more. I have my kitchen to do, my dining table, and a few other areas throughout my home that I want to share. So please be sure to tune into those. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next time. Peace.